October and we are shooting our family Christmas card. If you don't know us personally, I don't think I vlogged last year when we did. Wow, it's really, I'm really white. Um, I don't think I vlogged last year when we did our last Christmas card, but I think for the last like, how many years, dad? Like seven years, six or seven years? It has to be at least six. We've done like a crazy Christmas card and last year was, oh yeah, I was easily in high school. So that's three, four, that's like five, I don't know. We've, yeah, I, it's been like five or six years that we've done this. Last year we did Scooby-Doo, which I'll put a picture of that one. Then we also did Wonder Woman the year before. We did Adam's Family, we've done Star Wars. Dad's gonna try and go grab them, but we've oh, done, a movie themed Christmas card like every year for the last six years. And this year we are shooting, we, we've had this set up for a while. Um, you can't see it, but it's like a green screen and lights. And I just basically photo montage all of us together um, into our movie background. So I thought I'd vlog this year to show you guys, I'm not gonna release this vlog until the Christmas card has been sent out because we like semi keep it a secret. Like we tell some people, but Otherwise, it's pretty much a surprise for people who get it in the mail. So I think this is long enough of an intro. Please enjoy this video. You're looking ravishing. Do you feel like a Ghostbuster? Ghostbusters. Give me your best Ghostbusters pose. So this next part of the video, I'm just basically gonna be talking you through how I edited the Christmas card. Um, and then at the end, I'll come back and show you the, the final. This is basically for all my tech nerds out there who like to photo composite and edit. This is what my degree was in in college. Um, so anyway, if you aren't into this, this next, we'll have another video for you. But if you are into the techie technical stuff, then let's jump into it. <laughs> So once we're done shooting, I bring all of the pictures and photos into Adobe Lightroom. And this is where I go through and pick the ones that I wanna use. I'll color adjust, find ways to make the coloring look better because we all have different hair types and skin types so it looks different. So I just go in and make sure that we all um, look correct and all match the same lighting because we did shoot these in the same environment. Um, then I'll bring my favorites into Photoshop and Photoshop has come a long way since we started doing these cards It has a selection tool where you can do select subject and so that's what I'm using here I selected the subject it usually picks us out pretty well And then I just go in and do like finer detail work where it might have missed a section or added too much of a section or didn't get my whole finger it only got part of my finger so that's what I'm doing here and I do this to all of our images um, so that I have a cutout of each person and here you'll see that I'm going to find a background so this is another thing with photo compositing that can be really difficult is finding your assets so I knew from my reference image that I wanted like a green burst um, just something I could use um, in the background behind us to look like we're flying forward. So I brought this into a five by seven ca like card shape and I'm using the blur tool or the smudge tool here to make it bigger and take up more of the space in the card. So now that I have this green background, um, this is when I start to add in the people back in. So if you look over here on my layers panel, which I will expand so you can see it, um, I try to usually keep things pretty organized when it comes to the Christmas card. I did not do this when I was in school. I was not that good, but I do try to label things so that I know what I'm working with and when I'm working on what layer. So you can see I have this black background and then just that green burst in the middle. Um, the next thing I went in and added was this Ghostbusters logo, which you can see this is just actually a flat image. My sister made this on her iPad, so I can't even take any credit for this, but we just did like a holiday Ghostbusters. She layered um, 
the wreath over top, made the ribbon on the middle part look the same as the ribbon in the front, and added a ghost and added a hat to our little ghost. So that is the next thing we added because everything's basically gonna be centered around the middle of the photo. So then I started adding in people. So what I did to every person was I added a shadow, which I'm not sure if you can see, but I have this foot shadow. So what I did here was that I wanted to make sure that there wasn't any inner glow on the inside of our bodies. This was mainly just out of the aesthetic of it. Um, it made sense that our the, the, our whole body would be glowing green because of, can you hear Sadie? <laughs> because of the green coming from behind us um, in the in the background, but it looked weird having a green shadow on the inside of our thighs. And so I basically put um, an outer glow on my bottom layer person, and then I just erased pieces where I didn't want the glow to be, and then put myself back on top again so that it covered the pieces that were missing. So that's basically what I did for every person. I did the exact same thing. I don't know why it's not adding my mom back in. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I did um, the glow thing with all people. I put shadows on everyone and then, um, yeah, that's basically what I did for people. And I just positioned us and made us look um, like we were the right sizes. So obviously the people on the sides are for their backs. So they're gonna be a little bit smaller. My dad and my sister are gonna be more in the front. So more real life um, size. And then Riley is obviously gonna not be as tall as us because she's a dog. So that's how I do sizing on people. Um, the next thing that I went in to add was the text. Um, and so let me find the text. Okay, so I used this font that was literally called Ghostbusters. Um, and basically I just typed out Ghostbusters and then added the Ghosts of Christmas Past. Um, pretty easy. If you look at my layers again, you'll see that I added an effect to the, um, bottom text just to make it pop a little more. So I made it, added a green shadow to it as well. Then um, once I kind of saw all of this, I then like to add Christmas elements to it. So our main Christmas elements, obviously gonna be that ghost, um, but it still doesn't look very Christmassy. So the last step I always do in our Christmas cards is I go in and add snow. So I have these brushes that I got from um, a story art. Um, I, they were a free download when I got them, but they have, snow brushes, glow brushes, you can see them like starlight, smoke. There's some really cool brushes. So I'll link story art down below because they have a lot of really cool stuff to help you composite. Anyway, so what I did was I basically went in and just added a bunch of snow everywhere. So this definitely made our shadows pop um, a lot more on the bottom, but I wanted it to be like the snow's falling behind us. It's obviously not as realistic because the snow would be falling in front of us too, but I wanted to create more of like a winter wonderland look. So I did a lot of snow kind of piling up on the bottom and then kind of just did a lot of snow like around us. Um, then I thought this was kind of like barren. It like needed something more. So I went in again, taking one of those story art brushes and I put in some glow bits. And then I also added in our like ray beams from our guns that me and my mom are holding. So I added in some ray beams and then I added in just some little touches of like sparkle or like shimmer um, that would be reflecting. I think it just really adds to that holiday <laughs> vibe that we're going for. Um, and then I went in and added these like starbursts more on the top and kind of in the middle. So it seemed like it was coming out of the ghost. And this just added more to that Ghostbusters text. So it wasn't just the text in the snow. It added a little more emphasis to the top because you want them to read the title obviously and then move down. So their eyes will move in that direction. So the next thing I did, and this is really subtle, is that I wanted my sister's like gun reader thing to pop a little more. So I just added back in um, the dots and then also the uh, like screen made it look more prominent. So added that back in. And the last thing I did was I added this present. In the original image, they're throwing like um, the thing that they catch ghosts in. Um, so I wanted to have something there that my dad was throwing because that was the motion he was doing and um, this one 
I ended up being a present because I felt it was festive. So I played back and forth with this a lot because I still wanted it to look like it was being thrown, but I didn't really know how, or maybe he was like deflecting it. So I gave it a pretty decent glow, you can see, um, just to show that it's glowing and obviously the glow is coming from behind. That's one thing about photo compositing is you always want to make sure you're aware of where the light is coming from because that's going to be the most important. Um, that's why in a lot of our photos we don't do like really intense lighting. We use like two soft boxes to light ourselves okay, but there's no like major light source that's obvious um, because then we're able to play with lighting with like adding additional shadows or taking away shadows or adding a glow. Um, that's a really good tip when you're photo compositing. So I added the president. I was like iffy about it, but I think it did need that. It needed like something in the middle. So that is the entire way that I edited the Christmas card. So once that's done, we use Shutterfly to order all of our cards. We've used them for a really long time. Our hack is that we usually shoot the card um, in Canadian Thanksgiving, which is in October if you didn't know, um, because we can get costumes and return them to the store. <laughs> um, because we only use them for like maybe an hour. Um, so we do it around Halloween so we can get the costumes and then we order our cards around Black Friday because Shutterfly has really good deals on Black Friday. So here is the final card. It looks exactly like it did on the computer. We've had years in the past where the printing of the card is a lot more difficult, but this was just so simple this year that, um, yeah, it was just a straightforward card. And we usually have something on the back too, but again, we didn't really know what to put on the back, so we just didn't. Um, so this is the final card. It is the 21st when I'm filming this now, and there was some very great reactions. If you haven't received your card yet and you're watching this and you're wondering where it is, it's probably coming. Canadian Post is getting it to you, but yeah. So thanks so much for watching this video. Um, if you want more videos like this, let me know. I had a degree in this, I did it a lot, and basically now I only do it for my Christmas card every year, but it's really fun and I really like it. So subscribe if you aren't already, like this video so I know you like photo compositing, and I will see you in the next one.